when when the experience is too negative at some point you say no i cannot take this anymore and you become the animal you remove it out of yourself and you become you just become Nanyako, what do I call you? Are you a celebrity, a TikToker? How do I introduce you? I am the president of Kenyan TikTok. The president? Of Kenyan TikTok. Okay, yes. take two. Okay, I'll do this again. The president of Kenyan TikTok. Okay, take two. Welcome guys to my podcast. I'm a podcast of soft skills. Tonight, I'm not alone. Tonight, I, I am with self-confessed president of TikTok. Happy with that? Yes. <laughs> I am not self-proclaimed. The public, the Kenyan TikTokers have have made up their mind to put me up there. I cannot self-proclaim something. Well, okay. It we... is not allowed to just come out from your house and start, uh, you know, making yourself a name. The people makes you. Right. So you are yeah. made by people. You are your your TikTok's president made by people. Oh, of course. I'm okay. made by TikTokers, my fellow TikTokers. I didn't make myself. Okay, I'm very sweaty. Hope you're going to allow me to just to cool down a bit. It's, you know, <laughs> I am talking to the president, so I need to be very, very careful what I say and how I conduct this podcast. Um, now, those who don't know me, I'm a podcast on soft skills. Now, soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. Now, I request that when you are talking to me, you look me in the face. Okay. Mr. Yeah. President, Mrs. President, I appreciate that. Nyako, when uh, there's a time when I spoke to you, uh, not on the phone, but through the chat on your live, you said that um, uh, you are made from the street. I am made from the street. What do you mean? I told you, you said that I could not, 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 in, no, I didn't go to school to be who I am. I went to school, yes, but uh, through my journey, my journey has made me what I am. So where did you go to school? I went to uh, I went to school in um, in Nyanza. Okay, and uh, so after that, then uh, uh, do you mind I went to school all my life in Nyanza. Okay, okay. So is that where you brought up that area? I was brought up in school. I was never outside. So I grew up in school all my life. In Nyanza. So, um, not really. I didn't go to a day school. I was in a boarding school. Okay. And, and, and that's where you build your personality? Or where did personality come from? Because you come across a very, as a very um, confident, very eloquent lady. So where did that come from? It came from my, my confidence came from my life experiences, my journey from school as a child, growing up. You know, I never grew up with any of my parents. So growing up in an environment where you get constantly picked on or being bullied, made wow. me to be who i am today yeah well you mentioned being bullied and i'm going to ask that Nyako. you don't need to answer this you can pass what do you define being bullied being bullied is when you get picked on for no reason all the time and were you that to be picked on school as well like were you what keep why is that because i was of... i was always that child that was being picked on due to various reasons um because i don't want my background to be tracked correct i'm not gonna um there are things i'm not gonna disclose on in this interview uh, ab yeah. absolutely and remember this is really an interview i call this a podcast because uh, we talk about soft skills not necessarily about personal life i'm not interested in that at all um but let, let, yeah. let's, let's talk about you yourself um uh, when people when people when your name is mentioned nyako kuna when you say nyako you you got very careful you know what you say and um, yeah. could people call you a bully as well i could be a bully in a way but i bully you when you come after me 
I will bully you. Well, well. If you come after. after but me. they do say that two wrongs don't make a right. Of course. So when you come after me, is it right to come after me for no reason? Oh. No, I don't answer questions. I ask questions. And so, when I come at you, after you, I'm just defending myself. Okay. Let's talk about TikTok. Do you get paid by TikTok? I don't get paid by TikTok, but I live on TikTok through gifts. When you say gifts, what do you mean that? By asking for people to support you and... And give gifts. Not really, not really. I'm new on TikTok platform. I'm around uh, seven months old on TikTok. And when I arrived, um, I didn't know that it, it could be a way to for my existence financially until I lost my job. Do you mind talking about that, about your job or not? Um, yeah, why not? I'm a so, bus driver. That is my career. Wait, bus driver, as you go, like public service? Of course, I work with the public service of German transportation unit. I right. am a bus driver, official. And, and, and is that, and that's the job that you lost uh, because of... Yeah, I've been a bus driver for the first, past five years. This is my sixth year in the career. And what will tell you? Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy uh, uh, Of course, I did. And do of you miss that? I did. It is a men dominated uh, career. Correct. And uh, I am somebody, I find myself intimidating. My, 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 my character is very intimidating and it cannot accommodate women. You know, or men are sellers. I don't go with them. I have strong personality. That's interesting. And, and yeah. look, uh, uh, look, Nyako, I is, uh, my podcast, I talk about soft skills. And one of those soft skills is uh, confidence and, and, and standing out. And you're saying that you, your personality is, it, is intimidating. Yeah. And, and you're happy with that? Of course. Why not? That is what makes me who I am. Can you teach that character? Can you teach people to be confident? Of course I can. What, what are some of the elements there? If, you know, look, there are lots of people, Nyako, that, uh, that lose opportunities, not because they're not qualified, but because they lack that confidence, they lack uh, the fluency, the way they talk. So can you coach somebody to, to have that confidence? Of course, being confident is something you build. It is a journey. It is not something you just wake up today and the confidence is there. It is a life experience. There are things you pass through that makes you to build confidence. And mo most of it is negative. The negative, when the negative, you are, when, when the experience is too negative, at some point, you say, no, I cannot take this anymore. And you become the animal. You remove it out of yourself. And you become, you just become nyako. You know, you just become arrogant and I don't care. And you walk your way through and you make it. Why not? Arrogant? Of course, I am. Very. Now, uh, people watching us right now, welcome to the podcast. I make podcasts on soft skills. And soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. Listen, guys, um, it is my responsibility to protect my guests. So please, uh, I can see the comment section there. Please be, be polite, okay? Be polite. You don't have to, to, to write your opinion down there. Be polite. Now, and by the way, yes. when I mean arrogance, it means standing for yourself. If you live in Europe, you know what happens qua ground. You uh -huh. always have to protect yourself. You know, you cannot always cry. There is racism around you. At some point, you have to protect that. You have to block it and you have to deal with it. So that is, that is where I'm coming from, you know. And I just realized that I'm in Europe and I live around, white people are surrounding me and I have to defend myself at some point. So I built that confidence after experiencing a lot of negativity around me. That's interesting. And I want to, I want to talk about that. But before then, let me ask you something. You keep talking about Europe, Europe. When somebody... I have to talk about Europe because what? Europe made me who I am today. 
But but Nyako, being in Europe, does it mean that you have a good life? Of course. I have a good life. I don't sleep thinking of what will my kids eat, how am I going to pay school fees, uh, that crap. It doesn't exist in Europe. There are people in Kenya that are living better than those living in Europe. I know. And I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about my position in Europe. Okay? If you're already in Germany, that's not... My theory is about where I am at this time. What my experience is, you know? And I'm not going to stop talking about Europe. If it, that is your idea. I'm not going to stop about the goodness of Germany specifically. The good things I have experienced. How beautiful the government is. How beautiful they take care of, 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 of low, citizenship, low citizens. You know, how they take care of the kids. How they put women up there. I'm not going to stop talking about that. And, and obviously, you, you want to present the positive side of it, isn't it? And of the course, GRC... because uh, the positivity of Europe is 90% 90, 90 the positivity wow. of Germany specifically. Germany. Interesting. Well, let's, let's talk about uh, the appearance. Uh, you seem to have a very um, memorable appearance. As the, when someone meets you, we cannot forget you, the way you dress. Where is that? Where does that come from? Is that uh, you? You, uh, you like you like fashion? Does somebody uh, this is you up? I mean, a Tokapian. I got that from my mom. My mom was beautiful, beautiful woman who loved dressing. But because she didn't have enough money, we always went to secondhand clothing market, and we chose the clothes together and we matched them. Yeah, my mom is like my twin, so I learned dressing from my mom. Uh, allow me to ask about your mother, and you can pass if you don't want to answer this, uh, yeah. because you be very, you know, you are very passionate when you talk about her. So, what, what, so what do you remember about your mom? Something positive about your mother? I don't want to talk about it. You have a, you have a soft side about you. Like I still struggle with losing my mom. I still struggle with that part. Yeah. I'm very sorry about your mother. And uh, in fact, you just reminded me, my mother passed on 12 years ago. So I can actually identify with what uh, we're to go through. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to ask this, Nyako. Uh, look, I don't speak Luo very well, but there's some of the words that you normally use uh, that... Should I carry on with the question? Of course. There's some of the words they normally use uh, I, I wrote it somewhere. It's a uh, term. That is not necessary. <laughs> I grew up. Um, I grew up in a pure Luo speaking school. I learned English very late. I learned English when I was fifteen. That is when I learned how to communicate in English, but all my life it was Luo. That is why my Luo is very good. Very good. And it's very attractive too. Nowadays, every every life you go to a ski up to say my work, um, uh, I, you know those words, okay? Obviously disclaimer, these are not my words, uh, these, are, these are your words. And uh, how, do you feel, how do you feel when when something you've introduced, you make what's suddenly come anthem yan? I think I am just that touch of sensation. I'm just that there's some still that everybody likes about me and picks it and goes with it. And I feel so honored that there are people who really, I don't know if they adore what I do or they adore me as a person, but it is so lovely the way I have taken in my own country as somebody living abroad. If somebody told me this is going to happen in a million years, I will say no. But it is happening anyway. I feel honored. I tell you what, I, I enjoy it. I, I think uh, people want power, people want attention, uh, people want to be celebrated. And it's cool, you're alive and you are, you are experiencing this. And thank God, I wasn't even working to be noticed with anybody. I was just in my own world. And, 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 and Nyako, listen, actually, since you brought that, let's talk about it. Yeah. 
do, do you get um are there opportunities coming uh for you as a result of what has been happening for the last three weeks definitely yeah and huge all right okay and uh, so we as uh, you i'm you, headed um, for greatness that's it i'm not gonna talk about it can you give us a bit of a clue no i'm not all right let's go back to the training to the to the dressing parts now, there was a particular time uh, on your life you are showing us uh, your glasses and your your tops and they're matching like you know green and green red and red and i was like wow i mean who does that so I put so much effort on, on appearance no 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 it's not even appearance on my general look of my surrounding everything about me is spot it has to be that is how my mother brought me up look you see employers want opportunities come to people that stand out you know the way they dress up you know the way they look uh you're always on point your makeup is good uh you know you, you dress you know very well uh you come across as a likable person based on what you dress up based on what you dress on so can you teach somebody how to dress up of course of course definitely it's very expensive the yako the way you dress no it's not <laughs> I can put it according to your your pocket if you want. Okay, okay, and this is something that I think um, you can help young people how to. I, I started dressing long time, not today. I've been dressing all my life, but when I when I had kids, that is when I stopped dressing. You know, kids come along with so much stress, and then you just stop doing what you love. You take yeah. care of the kids. You know, but now I have that behind me. I have my li life back. And that is why I preach to women that are older, please stop making kids. You will never have time for yourself. Time passes by so fast. You raising kids before you realize time is gone. You don't have time for yourself. But, but they say that children are blessing, so it doesn't really matter. Kids are blessing, but we have to plan them at the right time. Correct. Correct. I, 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 told, I, I do I endorse that. It's about plan, isn't it? Um, yeah. Let's talk about internet in general, Nyako. And um, I want to talk about bullying online. Okay. Yes. Obviously, obviously you've got experience. Um, you've, you've, you're on record, uh, you know, being upset about being bullied online. How can we end this? I mean, you know, this is not bullying. What is going on? What is going on is bitterness and jealousy period that is not bullying it is no longer bullying anymore it is about intim intimidating somebody and trashing that person to get off the internet platform which is not gonna happen sorry are you telling me what's happening right now is jealousy not bullying yeah what is happening is jealousy and bitterness and people wanting to be me people wanting to have what they cannot get how can people ha okay apart from your situation let's and you know what there is no woman in this TikTok who matches my standard no one none zero that's 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 it that is confident i mean I, yeah when you say there's no woman are you talking in terms of what the content uh the uh the looks the viewership there are people who are richer than me here on TikTok. there are people who have it all but they cannot bring it on board the way I do it. That is why they can't match me. I am on another level. When people call you names, when you go to bed, how do you feel? Nothing. I sleep well. I sleep well. I dream well. I wake up well. I, it doesn't even cross my mind that somebody is talking about me. Okay, uh, let's say about your situation. Let's talk about bullying in general. How can people fight bullying? Bullying? I think uh, people who are bullying others, like in my case, where I am being bullied by a spirit, a faceless idiot that cannot face me because she's scared. If she's, she faces me, I'm going to finish her or him. I think bullies should show their faces so that uh, the best way to deal with a bully is to take them to court and uh, 
uh, the justice way. Even me, if anybody has a problem with me, take me to court. Okay, we don't have to end everything in court. Sometimes about talking, isn't it? Yeah, but if talking is not working, let's go to court. Well, let's talk about young people. Nyako. If Those... the person is not even remorseful of her actions and is constantly doing the same thing every day, let's go to court. Period. Uh, listen, okay, let's, okay. There's a, there's a different levels of bullying. Let's talk about those young people just finishing college. They come online, uh, they create their content, and they they receive negativity. Um, you know, they don't get uh, good comments or positive comments. How can they handle that? Mutandao, you should realize that without negativity, you cannot build yourself. Yani wewe umependu watuna everybody. There's nothing wrong with you. You have to ask yourself a question what is what is not up when nobody is questioning your character or your dressing or your way of life there's something wrong with you negativity must be there to build you to make you stronger so yeah i will tell people if somebody come for you use those stones to build yourself I, I, I like that because um, <laughs> I can see a few comments here and I feel good actually. So if everybody agrees with you, there's a problem there. Yeah. If so nobody is oppos opposing you, there's a problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Let me give you a, let me ask you a question what will happen if there is no more enemies chasing after nyako my fame will be gone uh, it's, uh, are you asking me a question you're telling me i'm telling you all right right okay when they stop bickering around nyako 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 the fame will be gone so i want it to continue it is making me to feel very powerful well, but uh, but uh, coming back to seriousness, Nyako, there are people that have lost lives as a result of being bullied. You know? I'm not going to lose my life because of bullying. When I come crying on the camera, I'm doing comedy for the bullying to continue. Wait. So when we see those tears online, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, they usually, what, crocodile tears? Yeah. I want them to continue. We want problems. Continue. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, those are your words. But but you do but you do recognize that there are people who don't have thick skin. Everybody at some point must must break down, no matter how strong you are. I broke down recently so badly because I was being trashed and I felt so bad about it. And I said, should I retaliate? But how? How does a stupid person reason with a stupid person? The level of stupidity. Nobody's going to make the difference between the two fools who are arguing online. So one of you must lower herself down to take the crown, which I did. And I took the crown. My followers treated me the best way ever. Well, and I tell you what, I mean, many people are struggling to build uh, viewership, okay? And uh, Viewership? Yes. Uh-huh. To get a viewer. Like, for example, you whenever you open up your, your TikTok account, your TikTok live, within 10 seconds, you get to a thousand people. <laughs> Irrespective of what you're doing. Okay? They love me. <laughs> so do you, do you actually say that you've got, you've got genuine followers, people that it doesn't matter what I have genuine followers who see the good things i do my content is very good if you keep up with it and you're patient you will know where i am coming from hmm? what is your content what is your content Anyako? my content is general it is about sex it's about men it's about cleanliness it's about cooking it is about dating broke ass idiots it is about Europe. It's about lifestyle in Europe. It is about me, European Atieno. It's about mixed children. It is about baby daddies. It is it is everything. Wow. So it's about life. It's about life. Yeah. And nothing is fake. Nothing is fake. I play my reality online. Wow. 
So what do you tell people that are struggling to find their content being liked, including myself? I think they should watch me keenly and um, imitate exact, not exactly, but pick a few things that you can go with and build yourself. Because you know me, I live reality show on my, on my platform. Everything is real. It is only that you cannot touch it. But, but this is real. This is you. You don't, this is what you are. This is who I am. Akuna <laughs> ingine. And I, I, I've got to say that I, I agree with that because I was spoken to you on the phone before and the voice Nile Ile too, could shout Nile Ile too. So yeah, yeah that, this is you. I okay. behave well, the same. Uh, I don't change. Well, those joining us right now, welcome to, to my podcast. I'm a podcast on soft skills and soft skills are those behaviors or characters that make us stand out. Now, Nyakos, your platform really, um, uh, it has elevated various people. Kuna watu mbao, without you, atunge wajua tu yani. Yeah, it has elevated a lot of people. So a you're lot. saying, so you're saying internet is good? Very good. Nice. This is the modern way of communicating. So whether we play gifts or not, akuna shida tu yani. I repeat what you said. What are you talking about games? Yani? I, usually, I usually see you mocking people play games. So what are you games? Uh, is a TikTok. Hakuna shida. It doesn't matter to me anymore. That was just a way of making content. So hakuna shida? No, hakuna shida. You can do... You, on internet, you can do anything apart from bringing your private life practically online. That I will not encourage. No. Do your things behind closed doors. We don't have to see it here. Now, the last part of this podcast is normally I invite people to ask my guest question. But before, before we get there, what's the plan for Nyako next? Now, what's the plan for... Uh... Wow. I'm not going to talk about it. Guys, if you have a question for my, for my, for my guest, uh, please send a request. I'll bring you up. But uh, I do ask you, or I didn't request you, please to remain polite. Make sure that whatever you can ask my guest, is something that you can be proud of if your mother hears you asking about it. So if you have a question, please send your request. I will, I will, I will, I will pick you up uh, less than 10 seconds. Ask your question. And I ask you guys, please do remain polite, okay? Make sure the question you ask my guest is a question that if your mother hears it, will be proud of yourself, okay? I'm going to pick random people. Is that okay, Nyako, if I bring you up to ask you a question? No problem. Okay. Hello? Hi, Nyako. How are you doing? I'm good. Where are you calling from? Mchandao, how are you? Uh, Safi, Safi, two thousand for coming up. Where are you calling from? Ah, uh, I'm in Mombasa, Kenya. Okay, and uh, you've got a question for my guest, but before that, just very quickly, what do you do, Auntie Annabelle? Come on, if you don't mind me asking. Okay, um, I am a chef by profession where I cook crazy things. Uh, Anything crazy. crazy that maybe Kenyans are afraid of um, things like Panya, snacks, and all those things. Yeah. You cook them. You cook them online. Yeah, I cook them live. Sometimes I make videos of them. Yeah. We wanna pick a panya. Yes, I do that. Nyako, do you hear that? Yes, I had. Okay. What's what's your question for Nyako? I mean, what's your question for uh, for for my my guest? Okay. Uh, Nyako. Um, yes. na kwa nangu kifanya content mingi when you're in the kitchen. Probably, are you a chef or do you love cooking? Do I'm you not have a, a nice kitchen? Um, I'm passionate about everything I do. Everything. Mm. When it comes to sex, I will give you 100%. When it comes to mm -hmm. cooking, I'm going to give you 100%. When it comes to dressing, I'm going to give you 100%. When it comes to cleaning, I'm going to do it 100%. So that like uh, on on a scale of maybe one to ten, mm -hmm. uh rate in terms of cooking. May you guys have to rate me. I cannot rate myself unless you taste my food. Ah, okay, okay. And then uh That's apart good. from Europe, come as your Europe, ni country gani nye unge kuwa like if not Europe, which country and yungeza penda kukua uko? To stay or to visit. Yes, to stay, to stay. Wow. Swiss, Switzerland. 
Yeah, okay. wow. That's interesting. Hey, Aunt Annabelle, I'm afraid I'm going to ask you to step down, but thanks for asking. But, but before I let okay. you go, Aunt Annabelle, on a serious note, so what do pick up on your book, Yan? Eh, uh, there are different kinds of uh, panya, but kuna zile kama panya buku enye, someone can eat it. I don't cook whatever I cannot eat. I cook whatever I can eat myself because like when I cook it, I have to eat it. Ndyo mwone, I'm not faking anything. If it is a snake, I go, not after snake ile iko, enye wame approve, enye like watu wanakula. If it is a snail, not after snail, enye si ile enye ukimwagia chumvi na yeyuka inaisha. Yeah, that's that's what I do. Wow, well, well, that's for coming up. <laughs> okay, so kunya utupike panya pia sisi? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Nako utopila panya ma? No. Okay. Will you want to wash a panya? No. Okay. I have a coming up. Nashukuru sana kabisa. Well, we okay. we've got uh, 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 former girl. Hi. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much, Nyako. Uh, uh, you, you are gem for real. Uh, we've seen everything that has gone on in your life and you come out strong all the time. I'm proud of you. Because yes. uh, most people could have been crushed and all the way into the ground if they were you. Yeah. So that's why you are you. You are special. Yes. It's only you. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, one thing I wanted to ask: uh, uh, what is it that you need more out of your life? I hope it's not too personal. What I need more? Yeah, out of your life, like right now. If people were to just leave you alone. I need my peace. You need your peace. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's a good that's a good one. Another thing, at this moment, what would you say is your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment is um having people calling me from all over the world and giving me that that nod of positivity that I have impact in their lives. That makes me even smile even more. Yeah, 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 that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm a businesswoman. I own a business, as you can tell. And uh, I would like to see you prosper, Nyako. Out of all these, I would like to see something good come out of you, something really, really a good foundation for you, something that you can look forward and say, you know what, I did this and I'm going to do this. Because you're very strong over here, you can be strong anywhere if you put your mind on it. If you put your mind on it, you work so hard towards that. Yeah, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you want to do, whatever you want, and you're very able. You know, able. farmer girl, um, yeah. you know, just waking up one early morning and announcing to the world that you are going to travel back to Kenya, where you were so scared. You know, I'm, I'm having issues with my step family about land issues. Land issues in Kenya are things that will put you in your coffin. And that is the main reason I, I I swore on camera that I will never step Kenya. So me yeah. just waking up and chasing my dream, I know that my dream, my greatness is in Kenya, where I was born. Mm. Just waking up and telling people I'm going to Kenya made people scared. Mm. You know, I believe in myself and I think just taking up this armor and facing my enemies back home is the best decision that i've ever made yeah yeah proud of you yeah before i take long uh i just have one more question do you see yourself uh, being hired again like a eight to five job again or you are done with being working for somebody i'm done with working for anybody i'm i'm headed for greatness i thank my bullies for making me who I am today. They are very responsible for my success. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I'll keep praying for you and you know where to reach me, of course. Uh, I'm your big girl. I hide a lot, but I'm over here all the time. You've so always I'm gonna supported let other me. People ask. You've always been there for me. <laughs> yeah, anyone who wants to prosper, I'm on your way. I'm, I'm gonna help you in whatever way you want. We need people to move forward. We need people to prosper. We need other than just every day entertaining that you entertain us we want something better for everybody so in what any shuke i leave other people to ask questions to nyako i'm your big fan too also yeah, thank you farmer girl thank you so much right. hey farmer girl thanks for coming up and before you go down actually people uh, farmer girl uh, is, is, a, is a farmer by her name 
She's had a book written. Um, from a I'm also from proud a of you, from a girl. There you go. Oh, from thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. You are a woman to reckon with. She is. Isn't oh, she? thank uh, you, thank you, Nyako. Thank you. I'll be here sometime. Be great. <laughs> Find me. Look for me. Look for me. Hey, yeah. from a girl. From a girl. Before you go down, from a girl. From a girl. Yes, yes. I'm right. Here. Please, can you just tell us a bit about your book? Because you've written a book. I've read it myself. But it's cool to know who you are because I don't think most of these guys have actually heard of you. Please, just just 10 seconds about your book, please. Okay, I don't want to take much of your time as you can see people are down here to do this. But thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, just highlight who I am here and there. The thing is, I've written a book, I'm a Kenyan. People never used to understand that I'm a Kenyan. I'm actually a Kenyan. So I've written a book called The Kenyan Farmer Girl in America. It's a book about my life, everything from when I was born to what I have right now and everything that has gone around in my life. So if you want to find out my book, it's on Amazon. It's $18. It's a book for all of us, a book for Kenyans, a book very easy to understand and all that. How you can run a business in a country like here, how you can run a business in an industry only for men. See, I run a landscape company, Mimi Nakata Nyasi, in short, if I can say that. So you can find all that in that book. You will learn more about it and you... There's a lot of inspiration in there. You will hate me. You will love me. At the end of the day, it's me. It's who I am. So as you said, next week, sometime next week, right? Yes. You have. I'm gonna come to your podcast. Of course. We will talk. Yeah, we'll talk more about that. <laughs> yes, I hope I will. Uh, I would like to inspire people. Nyako, reach out and uh, find people who can be of value to your life. Also, all of us need to. You need to yeah. figure out who is adding value to your life. Yeah. This, this life is short. We can't yes. uh, we can't spend so much time here uh, yelling at each other and shouting. No crying. We cannot yeah. be crying all the time. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's shed those tears. Let's make use of the time we have been given by the Most High. We yeah. can do something good for ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So we. I hope everything goes so well for you as you go to Kenya, and yes. I'll be praying for you and everyone else. Mtandao, thank you so much. I will have shown my book, but I don't want to take over the platform of which, if you let me, I will. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah. For I, now. Well, I've got the book myself. I will show it to people. But thanks for coming up, the farmer girl. And I look yeah. forward to meeting you next week. Okay, thank you so much. Bye, well, everybody. Thank, thank ciao, you very ciao. much. Thank, guys, uh, just to me right now, I'm a podcast on soft skills. Soft skills are those behaviors that make us stand out. Tonight, I'm hosting Nyako, who has told me that she's the president of TikTok, as per her followers. Now, Nyako, I, I will move on to, to questions as well. Uh, Boskan, apa ni kwako to VP? Uh, thank you so much, um, Nyako. Thank you so much, um, Tandao. I don't have much to say. Give me only uh, five seconds. Nyako I'm, Nyako, I'm proud of you. You have been changed now. So people, lo people love you. Even me, I love you. I love you, you know. So God bless you. I don't thank have you. much to say because you have been there. You, you, you understand what, what I mean, you know. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Sikutarajia kwamba una wisdom kubwa kiasi hicho yani. Thank you. Let me go. Niko kazini sasa. Thank you. Ah, yako eh. Welcome. Thanks for coming up. I believe a man. Guys, if you know can we is, but can is one of the peaceful people on TikTok actually. Yeah. Uko sana, utakuja hapa pia, sivyo? Yes, nitakuja. I will, I will. Okay, we've got that on record. <laughs> and uh, that's Muscat, and have a nice day. <laughs> okay, thank you. Enjoy, enjoy Vegas. Um, Ben Asofti, me aje Buddha. You can be there. Why don't you get camera? Well, put the camera. Now, Bernard, now you've got the presence of TikTok. What does he mean, aje Buddha, Leo? Hi, Nyako. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Please, they call me Ben Asofti. What did you say? They call me Benas of T. Benas of T, uh huh. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy to see you here. Thank you. <laughs> the guy on top of you, this, this Muta now is my father. So I just came to say hi. <laughs> ah, hi. <laughs> Nyako, I like, I like your courage. You are so courageous. You, mm -hmm. you are real. You know, one thing I know about you, I always watch you. You are very real. You bring um, what is inside of you. Sometimes people take it as a as entertainment, but when I look at you, I see somebody who is real, who is um, portraying. You are just being you, and a lot of people don't know how to be 
to be happy, you know, but you bring that that um, aspect of happiness. Yes, and, and I really love it. Keep it up. Thank you. Yanko. Yes. I was asking, what makes you this beautiful? You think I'm beautiful? I don't think you are. You are already beautiful. That is... That is you guaranteed. know, I was more beautiful before I got sick. I've been very sick for the past six months. I'm going... Since I got the corona vaccination, it affected my health generally. Mm -hmm. I still find myself beautiful, but I prefer the old me. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I have to embrace all appearances that will appear along the way. Thank you so much. But your beauty, your beauty is not in the face, it is in the heart. You know ah, that. Okay, yes. Yes. Hi, Mtandao. Hi, yeah. hi, everybody. Hi, Nyako. Um, hi, Sarah. <laughs> hi. Um, so I'm glad to be here, and I'm just, um, I, I came a little bit late, but I listened to part of the interview, and I just want to say two things, um, and then ask you a question. Um, the first thing is we are all different. We are all a bit different, and um, that is why when you have um, your hand, your fingers will never have the same, they're never the same height, they're never the same shape, they'll never be the same. And so there's there's that part in humanity where we need to embrace each other's strength and or weakness because we are all not perfect. Yeah. That is the first thing. The second thing, I'm so happy for you. Um, so in everything that you're doing, I want you to know that there's a confidence level that you have that is that surpasses everybody else. We are all like if, if I were to face what you're facing right now, I think I'll break. But there's somewhere else or some some other area where i'm strong in and so we all have um things that we thrive in we all have things that you're like they break us but we are human and i just want to applaud um your milestone i want to applaud um mtandao for even having you on his platform today Thank and you. i just want to say mtandao um your patience um <laughs> broke broke took, took you places uh, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest about it. So I, I'm so happy for you, and I'm, I'm just glad that we got here. We got to where we are today. Final good. but not least, um, uh, Nyako, I'm going to ask you one question. Yes. If there's anything, if you are given an opportunity to change something in the world or to change something, what would you change? I would, um, let me talk on the pers perspective of uh, Kenya where I come from. Hmm. I don't want to talk about Europe, where I live, because it is almost perfect out here, you know? Mm -hmm. So if I was given opportunity back home in Kenya, I would really love the government to take care of the common citizen. Mm. They should prioritize these people because these are the backbone of a society. The government should spend more on the common citizen than how they splash. It really breaks my heart to see government uh, officials going out with big cars. They have big security. They have it all. While the common monarchy cannot even afford a meal a day. So that is what makes Europe different from Africa, where the common Mwanaichi is more important to the government than the person up there. So if I was given opportunity to do something about the world, that is something I will look up to, that the common citizen doesn't have to worry about a meal a day. That's true. That's you know? true. That's true. So I'll just say a final thing to everybody. And I I am looking forward um, to see you back in Kenya and to see um, how much, you know, just meeting the people and to just be progressive when you get back there. But at the same time, we're supporting you, we're behind you. And um, in each and everything, just know that there's one above who's always going to be there for you regardless, yes. no matter what. Yes. Otherwise, I love you all, you guys. Um, I don't have much to say. I don't want to take over the platform, but... Um, it's just a pleasure being here, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Oh, oh, Sarah Kilo, thanks for coming up. I mean, you're amazing, Sarah Kilo. Thank you. You're always, uh, always a joy to associate with, so thank you very much for coming up here. 
Hello, hello, good evening. Hi, where are you coming from, sir? I'm coming from Kenya. Okay, okay. Uh, the question to, to Nyako. Uh, Nyako, for me, it is just uh, confidence about Nyako. And I just want to appreciate uh, her for the kind of good work that she has been doing. I've been watching her. She's Thank been my you. fan. And even if the command, I like the command, the command power and the command system that she's having. <laughs> the courage and the confidence is on a, on another level. <laughs> and uh, I'm feeling and I'm wishing like some day I'm going to meet Nyako. Nyako, welcome home. Thank I you. Didn't, I, I did not uh, welcome home. Welcome home. We, I need to see you. I need to shake your hand and uh, to tell you that you are doing a good and a great job. Congratulations for what you've been doing. Thank you. And awesome. I can see you are really talking as a, like a president. Thank you. <laughs> the kind of mind, the kind of heart that you have. You see the point that we've just put across that what if you have been given a chance to transform something and you just think and or you just you just thought about home yes and you say you will make sure that our government is providing food no common mwanainji no common citizen is struggling with life yes to tell you the truth kenyans are suffering and the most people who are suffering the most they are the young people i know I don't understand. If we can have one million Nyakos in Kenya. Yeah, Kenya will be beautiful. I think, I think Kenya can be the best country. Before, before we ask, before I ask, I, I leave uh, Buti for the person, did you know how much people have you? I mean, those guys, what are you saying? We're gonna join you I told you that since I lost my job, I'm living on TikTok. I don't have any source of income. I live on TikTok and I live comfortably on TikTok. So that can tell you how much love, how much energy people believe in me. Would you say you're a patient person? I'm patient. I am not patient. Would you say you're patient now? I am not patient. And now, now we'll go because maybe end. No, I am not. I'm not patient. I tell you what, I mean, obviously, uh, you have you being here is, is a pleasure uh, hosting you. And thanks for coming here, by the way. So, so whatever to come at Chakum Kambi and anyone to record the year me. Right. Um, <laughs> I had to say that. I have to say that. Well, to see well. Okay. Uh, let me ask um, uh, Lin, uh, Lin, Lin Kerry. Hi. Welcome to the show. Uh, yes. Hello, Nyako. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Nyako. Hi. Really? You have made me become a strong girl a strong, a strong lady thank and, you i mean you cry in five minutes you're smiling and then one thing you love your god yes that's number one yes you know somebody who comes in front of people and say i'm sorry this person has a love of god thank you i'm so proud of you i i, I just stay here in paris and I wish one time, one day, I just come in uh, in Germany and hug you, just to feel you. Thank you. Really, you have made me strong. And I'm go I, when I go back to Kenya, me too. I really want to do something good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> with with your friends, with your friends who always there for you, who always ask to you, who always advise you. I love them so much. Huh? Thank you. Thank I, you. Yeah. People people there are have, people who have stand by me. Yes, a lot. Yeah. Like a lot. A lot. I'm I'm not good in talking like the way you speak, but once I see you, I feel like, oh, I'm a lady. Oh, I'm smart. Yes. Oh, I'm beautiful. Yes. Oh, I can cook. Yes. Oh, whenever you stand in front of people, that's what I feel myself. Yes. So thank you. Thank you so much. Maybe next time, next time we will, I'll talk to you myself too. Thank you okay. so much. Continue. You too. Yep. Ciao, Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Thank you, you Tanao. <laughs>
Mtandao, we love you. Mtandao, oh. we love you. You are um, you are one those one of those men people want in the society. We love you. Okay, Mtandao. Thank you, Mrs. Nyako. I love you with all your friend and, and your family. Be blessed. Thank you. Hi, Mtandao. Hello, hi. Thanks for coming out. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Kenya. Okay. Hi, Nyako. Hi. Yeah, I I love you so so much. I'm just here to express my love to you. I love you. I love your show. Even my children, whenever they see you, Mami Nyako is here. Come leave the job. Kuja tuone Nyako. We just love you for free. Waheri Aki. Thank you. Thank you. Just so much. looking at you like this. We just love you and we appreciate you. Don't Thank be you. discouraged, my dear. Thank you. We love you. Yes. Thank you, Mutandao, thank you for a good job. Thank you for bringing Nyako here. I'm happy today. At least Nimongia na Nyako. Nita Lala. Thank you. Thank you. Well, coming up and God bless. Um, okay, yeah. let's go to um, Adventure Jennifer. Hi. Welcome to the show. Where are you calling from? Hi, I'm in Kenya. Oh. Right. Uh, could you talk to Nyako? Yeah. Carry on. Nyako, hi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Mm, I'm sorry if you might feel being offended, but there is something that I always say in my life. I always tell people, or I always tell to myself that when you ha you want to bury the past, make sure you bury the people who know the grave of the past. How can you how can you deal with your past when it comes for you? What past? The only past that can stick with you for the rest of your life is when you kill somebody and you cannot change it. Okay? okay. Hi, what how are you, Tando? Uh, I'm well, thank you. You have a good for my guest. Yeah, thank you so much for allowing me to come to your podcast. And um, hi, Nyako, Sasa. Missouri. It's an honor to speak to you today. Um, thank you. I have, uh, I've been watching you um, from Facebook and then finally found you here when I joined TikTok. And uh, I, can, I must applaud you for um, the confidence you have that you instill in people and um, some of that I've learned from you. I, um, I've learned and realized that you have like almost three things that are important to you. Number one, you care so much about family. You care about children and you also care about land. My question, and another thing, the fourth thing, you really care about Mjulus. You've really spoken about Mjulus, like uh, it doesn't matter, whatever, but you gotta have your thing tapped. Now, what else is really important to you apart from the things I've mentioned? What is important to me? Exactly. My peace. Oh yeah, you mentioned that before. All right, that's it. That's all I have. Thank you so much, and I'm so excited to have spoken to you. Sandal, how are you? Hi, thanks for coming, and Ayola. Thanks for coming to the podcast as well. Nashukuru sana. Ayola has been here by them. Nyako, so there you go. Ayoka, carry on, Ayola, with your question. Tuna fata nyako kila falia nenda. Anywhere she goes, we see a notification. This is Yaombio. Okay. <laughs> so give the rest uh, the chance, let them talk. We are behind Nyako. Team Nomarawa, red heart emojis for our queen. Apo chini, chezeni kanyini. I don't know if come in now, Vitana. No, come back. Yes, you can, Nico, Nico. Are you done? Nico, can do it. Okay, are you done? Yes, I'm done. Let them oh, talk. Okay, yes, yes, uh, I'm done. Okay, thanks, Ayala. Shukuru sana kabisa. Hi, um, G254, hi. Welcome to the show. Hi, Mtandao Mambo. Uh, Safi Sakabisa, where are you calling from? Uh, from US. Hi, Nyako. Hi. Nyako ni wakwetu bondo. I've talked to you one time. Uwezi okay. ni kumbuka do. But uh, I, I just want to say, Nyako, I love your confidence. As in, confidence yako, sa zingine atami uwanga inani build. But I have one question for you. I just wanted to ask, what really drives you? Like, when you wake up in the morning, what what makes you feel like today i'm gonna do great i'm gonna be a great person what drives you um the queen thank you i don't plan my life it is uh, okay. random everything i do on this platform is random 
I don't plan to be sad. I don't plan to cry. Um, I think I, I'm living my reality on camera. I don't plan anything. It is random. Okay, that's awesome. Thank, thank um, I also wanted to say that I usually tell myself that Nyako has the most healthiest kids because you know why? Nyako always make food for her kids. And and I really, really, I really, really think like Thank you, Kings. You, you're just you're just the person, Nyako. It's it's great talking to you today on Tandao's life. Thanks, Tandao, for the opportunity. Thank you to Kings. be on your podcast. Mtandao hello. Yeah. Um for me I don't address her as Nyako. I address her as boss lady. She's our boss lady. So for me, I really, she really inspired me a lot. And according to her story and according to my story and what I've been through since I was born and till now I'm here, she really inspires me. And when I see people insulting Nyako, I feel like they're insulting my mother which is like, we have to respect this woman. She's a hero. She's a hero in a way. And we need to have um, women like this who depends on, like defends youths, talks the truth. And um, yeah. she really inspires me a lot. Well, that's good to hear that. Do you have any um, Yeah, like Nyako, Sorry, boss lady, what um, can I ask you is, um, <laughs> I'm so happy, like, I feel like to cry, I can't, I can't even ask any questions, sorry. <laughs> Tandao, hi Nyako. Hi. I'm in Kenya. I'm in Kenya, I would love to ask Nyako, how does she balance being on TikTok and being a mother. Queen. <laughs> well, my life is TikTok and TikTok is my life. I told you that my life, um, I do reality shows on TikTok. So uh, I also do my motherhood. Can I can I can. My kids, okay. my kids are not uh -huh. kindergarten Very children. My kids are responsible Very. enough. Nice. The only thing I'm expected of is to cook, clean for them, and uh, yeah, they are responsible kids. So I don't need much time taking them to the playground or something like that. So it doesn't interfere with my motherhood. Okay. Uh, hello, Madam President. Hi, Tandao. Hi. Uh, I don't have a question, but I just want to appreciate you for being yourself and for being who you are. And I want you to understand that your personality is going to irritate a lot of toxic people. But I just want you to understand that not everybody was meant to understand who you are. But we love how you carry yourself. We love how you always come strong for everyone that you care about, including you as a person. And your personality, girl, it's on another level. And Thank it's you. not for everybody who is vibrating so low. I know Thank many people hate me for supporting you, but just know we love you until the end. Team Mayu. Hi, Black Tuban. Okay, Please. sorry. Me naitua, naitua Black Tuban in your call. Si, 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 kama ulisha yiku niona kwenye live zako, au VP. First of all, I'm your fan. But... Sometimes the dang uwa unaingia kwenye 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 beefs na watu ambao they are not your levels. Yani wao wako chini zaidi yako na you continue fighting with them. Kitu ambacho kwa upande wangu mimi naona kwamba uki kwa watanzania wote tunasema kwamba ukigombana na mjinga wendo mjinga zaidi. So sometimes I feel like there's no need of you kuwa kwenye competition au kugombana na watu ambao they are not even your, your, your level. They are not even in your standard. So, kwanini us take it to your time and be do yourself. Don't fight with these other people. So, Don't create the saying, dramas. You watch me. Did you watch my life today in the morning? 
No, 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 no. I was little then bit. Then I cannot busy. not answer you because I just made up my mind to ignore that bullshit and take another turn in my life. Today, okay. very early in the morning, at five o'clock. Okay. So if you okay. are not, in then that... that is good. Hey, Nyako, I want to say thank you very much for availing yourself uh, to, uh, to come to to my point.